Gino, 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 I can't lose you, Gino. That's okay, Jazz. That's okay, Jazz. No, 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 I can't lose you. That's okay, Jazz. Gino. That's okay. So, That's okay. No, I can't lose you. So, Gino, I went and, and I got something that I want to give to you, Gino. I, I. I, I I want you to take this and you know take this take this and I want you to put it on my hand because I I didn't do nothing with it. I kept the ring you know <laughs> and then I want you will you take me back can we make this work you know you know. Oh, Gino, I can't lose you, Gino. I can't lose you, Gino. Yes, Jasper. Oh, Gino, yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Those are the nicest words I ever heard. Mm-hmm. Oh, Gino, I love you. He keeps it real. What's going on, Koya King folks? How y'all doing tonight? Welcome back to another video, Courtney and Eddie. I'm Eddie, aka e This is my lovely wife, Courtney, also known as Coco. Oh, it sounds so dry, just like this episode. Yeah, that's, that's what people have said. I'll be dry when I say this. So mm -hmm. I just want to continue with being dry. Okay, all right, sorry, desert. All right, uh, this. Uh, channel is all about relationship reviews, entertainment, and it's all about famous rants. And tonight, we're gonna be talking about nine day fiance the other way. I thought it was before the nine days. Oh, that's right, before the nine. so many, so many nine days, man. Yeah. You get run together nine days the other way, nine days uh, uh before the nine days, nine days after the nine days, right. nine days on Mars. <laughs> <laughs> so many of them. So if you're brand new to this channel and subscribe yet, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Let's go straight into it and get started. So, you know, over here, we like to break it down couple by couple. I'm not going to do all that back and forth, bouncing back, around. Forth, so back, we're starting forth. out with Amanda and Raz. Raz. Raz Van. Raz Van. Raz Van. So, you know, um, she kissing all on him and stuff like that. Y'all know that she trying to win her spot back because he's trying to act like, you know, when I don't know if we're gonna make it. Da, 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 da. So, you know, oh. she kissing all on him, and he said they done had six he, by five, six times. You think Rasmus, you think he's putting over front, or do you think he's really having second thoughts about her? I think at first, I thought at first that he was playing hard, hard, mm, you right. know what I'm saying, really trying to punish her for what she did. Right. But then I do feel that he could be, you know, having second thoughts. I don't know, it's a little 50 50. The only reason why I think he, he's probably is having second thoughts legitimately. Is because he talked to his mom. Oh, like yeah. His mom has a lot of influences, a lot, a lot of influence on him. Yeah, I know. But go ahead. So yeah, speaking of his mom, so um, so they all at the beach. You know, his parents come, his brother come. You know, and so you know, um, he went and put on his uh, you know, got his swimsuit together and all that stuff, whatever. So anyway, he was like, "Mom, I want to talk. You know, pull you to the side and um." Basically, he's she asked how how she going, how things going, and he basically tell his mama that you know, uh, well, you know, she kind of up and down. So you know, she she can be nice, kind, sweet, but when she ain't, she mean. She um say some stuff to hurt my feelings and stuff like that. And you know, I know that she got a, I mean, not a divorce. She's a widow. You know, her husband had passed away, and she's dealing with that and stuff like that. So the mom was like, mm, that's not good. Kind of remind me of the, of the ex. And you were saying that the ex was going to change, but, you know, kind of going in that same direction. So, you know, when the mom was talking to the camera, she said, I don't know if it's what she's going through or she just fickle. Uh, so I'm thinking the brass man took that, you know, nugget from his mom mm -hmm. and kind of dictating how he's feeling towards uh, 
Amanda right now because, you know, if he's a mama's boy, he's real close to his mom. He's going to listen to what his mom got to say. You do know they, what I'm saying? Do they listen? Oh, yeah. Heck, yeah. Heck, yeah. Especially you've been down the road once before and your mom said, yeah, you've been down the road once before and she seemed like she's the same type of woman. You know, yeah, it's going to give you second thoughts. Mama's boys listen to yeah. their mama. Most of them. I'm trying to see do my sons. I know one is a mama's boy. You think both of them are mama's boys? Yeah, they're both mama's boys. And when they do something they don't want you to know, they ain't going to tell you. Mm. Yeah, come from a mama's boy. That's how we roll. Mm. MB, baby. MB. You know, we're a game. Don't MB. Do, don't do that. MB. Please. MB. Please. <laughs> mama's boy. <laughs> So in the next scene, so they um playing pool and you know they having a good time, you know, laughing and all that stuff, whatever. So, you know, it turned left because she asked him, so you know, uh, what you what you and your mom talked about, like what she told what you told her, because it seemed like her mood kind of changed when she came and sat back down. He was like, Well, I told her basically that, you know what I'm saying, you'd be a little moody. So if she felt some type of way about that, and then he was like there it is right there. You just switch. See, Amanda, she wants to portray this image in front of his parents. Like she's a good girl and everything's good. He's she's better than the ex-wife. And when he told his mom about, about how she's acting, you know, like I said, mom kinda changed her mind about Amanda. Now Amanda's, oh, now your mom knows about me now. Now she gonna think I'm a bad person. Now that's when her attitude changed uh against uh changed with uh Ran or Red Zach oh, what Ran Razvan. 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 Did you say Razvan? Razvan. Okay. Yeah. Razvan. That's when her attitude at the pool hall changed because now she's thinking in her head, your mom don't like me. And the reason why your mom don't like me is because you went ran your mouth to your mom. Mm -hmm. so. But I don't know what I seen it. Was it rented or somewhere, honey? Where it looked like Amanda get around, child. She taking pictures with all types of dudes and stuff. And she mm -hmm. don't look like that little. little what they call good girl. I never saw that in her. The good girl thing. Cause I saw how she was dressing. You know what I'm saying? Uh, the mid drifts, showing her stomach, showing her skin. Uh, I just felt like she had a little in her, a little freak in her. You know. What but I'm but she. I want my husband. And I don't know if I want to have sex and stuff because it's just been. So and I, and I, I, don't think that was I, I think that was an act because you think about it. How she met Raz Daz online, right? Raz Van. Raz Van. Van. Okay, yeah. how she met Raz Van? Online. Online. He was doing his like model thing. I think so. Because there you go. She mm -hmm. did. So he set out a thirst trap for her and trapped her. Mm -hmm. And yeah. she took the baby. Yeah. Then get over there. Yeah. So um, so in the next one, he on his live talking to his people and stuff like that. And so you know, uh, I think purposefully she got up and she went in the other room so people can see yeah, that he good. was with her. That's a good observation. observation. I was like, well, she in the camera? That man on the live, he don't need you in the back yeah, of his live. That's a good observation. I didn't think about that. She walked in the back and went on the other room. You could have sat there till he got finished. And as soon as she walked to the back, he finished it up. She yeah, he did. That. Yeah. And so anyway, um, so, you know, he was like, I was just on the live, talking to my people, saying hey and all that stuff, whatever. And so, um, so basically she was saying so i need to know you know we're gonna be, i'm gonna be leaving soon so uh is i gonna get a ring am i gonna we're gonna get engaged or what and raz i'm gonna raz raz like well, a ring you want a ring a engagement ring he said we'll be doing too much fighting mm -hmm. why would i give you an engagement ring why would you want to be engaged to me because you go back and forth one minute you say i can't even live up to your husband now you want to get engaged yeah, so man, Raz, man, I was most definitely back out of that if I was you, man. Um, let's move on to Gino and Jasmine. Let's go and get this little crap out the way. Gino, it's sad. It's a sad case. Hold up, we are talking about how sad is it? It's General Hospital sad, soap opera sad. Cause it look like they yeah. even soap opera, man. Yeah. The way Jasmine be acting, her expressions, her her movement, it just over dramatized yeah big time like she trying to audition for a show or something well you already on the show mm -hmm. i guess you want a bigger show uh, of Atlanta. so yeah she <laughs> she's trying to make her way on over here to uh america so yeah so gino headed back because you know she told him to leave and all that no, stuff no i said jazz and boys what she told him leave gino there you go leave gino leave i don't want you i don't want you under this don't talk to me 
Need you just know? like that. Need yeah, you yes. Know? You're so soap opera ish. You're straight yeah. up soap opera, man. So, um, so. Telemundo. <laughs> so Gino is leaving headed back because um he said they broke up, Jasmine broke up with him, so he going back to the room to pack his stuff and all that stuff or whatever and get ready to head out. And um he said he's gonna head back home. So the camera showed 20 minutes later. <clears throat> you is know, she, here she comes. Can we talk? And Gino, I'm saying, okay, Gino packing his bag, he's standing his ground, you're gonna put his foot down. He's going to leave. Put down. He the one. She said, get out. You. I, I know, know but me. I know, but he was about to say, you know, it's over with. I'm going to get on the plane and go home. I'm saying, all right, you know, leave her. Go home and be happy. But what happened? 20 minutes later, what happened? 20 minutes later. Gino, can we talk? Gino, I'm so sorry. I just go through so much and I don't know how to be saying I just can't I just don't know she loves you, you know. I love you so much, you know, and I can't do this life without you, you know. What am I gonna do? I just I just need help, you know. <coughs> okay, catch your breath. Yeah, uh and Gino he was eating it up too, man. Gino felt like he was on on cloud nine, he said, "Man, look at that woman begging me back, crying on one knee. She was bending on one knee like boys to men." So, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, yeah, she was crying. She apologized to Gino, um, and she, you know, she wanted to see if it'll work. And so, Gino said that he don't know. So she said, "Hold on, hold on, Gino." And she got, and she went and got her ring that he gave her. Well, she didn't like at first. Yeah, that she didn't like. She that. didn't I like that. She said she lost it. She did. I thought she, she said did. she lost it. Gino, this woman basically lying to you in your face, contradicting herself. Oh, but all she gotta do is cry a little bit and say your name and say she loves you. you. You run back right she to her. She a big fat liar because. She supposed to didn't sleep with her ex. She was just telling you that. I don't care. She slept with that ex. I guarantee you she slept with the ex. Because when she said it, it came from the soul. Yeah, it was so natural. It was so natural. It came from a thorax. The thorax. What? I don't know what that is, but sound <laughs> medical. <laughs> you trying to say your thyroid? And no, your rib thorax. Rib. I don't know, but it sound medical, man. But yeah, man. So yeah, man. I really believe she slept with that ex boyfriend. I believe she enjoyed sleeping with the ex boyfriend because she keep throwing it up in Gino's face. So, um, so she went and got the ring. You know, she get on her knee and. You know, so she want him to put the ring back on her hand because she said she got it. You know, it was blah, 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 blah. So, you know, Gino, of course, they gave us cliffhanger and went to the next couple. But, you know, was he going to take a back? Of course was he, he gonna was. Was he going to say yes? Was he going to say we'll make it work? And, of course, he said what? Yes. Can I be honest with you, though? Huh? Can I be honest with you? Yeah. I have a small slimmer of hope that he, he was going to say, say no. no. Me too. Yeah. Yeah, but you know, I said, oh, well, she, who I'm fooling? He took her back. She promised to change. She apologized. So, um, you know, <laughs> this the funny boy I am not. So anyway, Gino packing. You know, what I'm saying so. Gino packing. He finna go. Go. They probably did whatever after all that. I don't, grinding, I, so. I don't think they did. I don't know, but you know, they had on the same clothes as she act the fool in that confession. Then she got. They both had on the same clothes and all that stuff, whatever from that confession when she claims that she did what she did. But anyway, so she packing. He get ready to leave. And uh, and what? He left some money on the on the nightstand for. <laughs> No, he gave him some money at first. No, no, that's right. He left on the lights. No, no. Yeah, he actually gave her a thousand dollars. He said, "She said I appreciate you cash out me the thousand dollars." Well, yeah. she said, "Give it, yeah, sending it, sending it to me." So I'm assuming cash out a Venmo or something like that. And also, who is no? She said, "Who is money for, Gino? Who is for?" Said, well, I'm leaving that for you to help you out some money put in your pocket. Well, thank you, Gino. I said, so Gino, you pay, you paying for this woman. After she done said she, she done paid. slept with her ex, honey, you she gave probably, her some money. And she probably get that money you gave her, give her ex 10% of that money. You know what I'm saying? Huh, baby? He go 10%. Yeah, you know, he paid for our coffee because she went to coffee and drank some coffee with mm -hmm. her ex. I said, Gino, man, that's what she wanted. So and he's so happy. He's so happy. Jasmine knows how to get Gino. Mm -hmm. She does, man. Um... 
let's see um but um so anyway so they headed to the airport you know she crying in the car i'm gonna miss you so much I, when she was crying in the car i i didn't see not one to me either i didn't see not one to yeah quick. did y'all see what she had on oh yeah I, so she hit for the ex yeah. on got that monty got the money they're gonna, they gonna go out on the town tonight <laughs> baby and gino gonna be face time with her hey hey gino hey hey uh jazz what you doing she gonna tell the ex she be quiet got you how we know the ex ain't paying for their apartment? Okay. But she up there talking about it. But she said, honey, Gino agrees she's gonna find somewhere cheaper to stay or whatever. But Gino probably want her out there too because the ex stay there. Um, that's the main reason, yeah. I think yeah. I know for a fact that's why he wants her out there, yeah. So, um, so anyway, so she said that you know she don't understand why immigration can't. I got resentment for immigration. Jasmine, who are you supposed to be that immigration going okay? We're gonna make an exception for her. She Jasmine, mm -hmm. but apparently it works. She go with. <laughs> yes, you gonna see that she. Been, look, uh, take the hat off. Well, he he was doing the um uh, uh, the TSA. Oh, you need your hat. Cause. Yeah, I know you gotta take my hat off. Ooh, boy. <laughs> but yeah, what he doing the TSA? All oh, this just hair. Oh, it's a hair. Oh, uh, it's got a tumor. Or what? It's, I don't understand. It's dark. It's dark. I yeah. thought it was a patch of hair. I thought it was the first two, but it could be some kind of burnt mark or. Tumor, uh, a second head growth. <laughs> I don't know, man. So let's move on to Violet and uh, Riley. Another train here. Yeah. So anyway, so they doing a date night. Um, she's still a little bit upset because he said that he was gonna hire a private investigator. So uh, Riley leaving tomorrow. Um, uh, and so as they sitting there talking, you know, Violet cut is is what is it? Um, closed down, cut off cold. Um, just pull the table back a little bit, baby. And so, um, so she said that, um, but they both agreed they was gonna work on their relationship. Yeah, man, Violet. I, I think she's over it. You know, I think me personally, I think she got somebody there in her country. She's seeing, she's seeing. Go ahead. What you want to say? Mm -mm. But what they showed us next week. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking she's messing around with somebody else, in my opinion. So she couldn't wait. For Riley to get on that plane because yeah. she said Riley's well she's gonna come over here and help me pack and she's gonna take me to the airport but she can't make you know some plans change so now she can't take me to the airport because she got another engagement to go to so she be all she's gonna do is come over here and help me pack and see me to get in the cab and after that she's gonna go to her engagement what else she got to do so my thing is this she just want to make sure Riley was leaving so when she saw him get in that cab she said I'm good I yep. go ahead and do what I need to do. Like you said, she coming over there with the pad and stuff like that. As they were sitting on the bed, Riley, you need to shoot the bell, everything. Riley want to say, you know, uh, my feelings for you. And I can't I'm, put it together. And I, you know, I don't like to say the word, mm. but you know, I am. Um, and Violet shut him down. She's no, don't say that. No, keep it to yourself. I don't want to hear that. Yep. So basically, Violet said she don't love you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. So don't tell me you love me because I don't love you. I think in confession she was saying she was mad at him or something uh, like that. I don't so, think yeah. about love Riley. You think about love Riley? Heck no. You think, don't yeah. make me cuss on yeah, you. Yeah. But Riley, ooh, I love you. I don't, I don't say the L word a lot, but I love you. I want to tell her I love you. But she wasn't receiving it. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know what I did. Bruh, get on the plane, come back home. Lick your wounds. And call it a call day. Call it a day, man. And um, try again somewhere else. Yeah, so as they get ready to depart, you know what I'm saying, um, she was so cold, so closed off, and he was like basically trying to steal a hug. She and want to hug him. He was not. like, you know, we're going to get a kiss, and she just put her head up there. He really had to steal the kiss, and, you know, he kissed on the forehead, and, and he got in the cab, and she got her hugs, and she, she didn't look back. Yeah, she didn't look back. You know how in the movies, the woman walks away, and the white man about to get on the plane, lead, and she turned back and look at the man before he gets on the plane. Mm -hmm. Father didn't do that. No. Father said, deuces, get on back to America. And she kept on saying that he needed to change his attitude and all that stuff, whatever, if they're going to move forward. But anyway, so let's move on to Statler and Dempsey. So, you know. Yeah, I know. I love me some Statler and Dempsey. Yeah. I really just like Dempsey. I mean, Statler. I like Statler. She's like weird. Dempsey. Yeah. Dempsey just, she 
she's just a doll. Yeah. Um. So anyway, so they leaving, you know, the castle, honey. They going to yeah, the castle. Thinking, yeah, they going to do their celebration for her birthday. That scary movie castle, man. You know, right? Yeah. You be sleeping here, sounds in the hallway. Then a person come up missing. Then all of a sudden you smack dab in a scary movie, man. Yeah, that's about, why I don't play with scary yeah, movies. Yeah, don't go to scary yeah, houses. Yeah, probably got a torture chamber at the bottom of the castle. Yeah, man. He probably got the little. Uh, what was the name of the little saw guy with the mask on? I don't know, man. I don't watch yeah. that stuff. That's you. Or the check it down there on the rooms or something like that. Y'all seen the movie? Y'all remember The Shining, right? It was in that mansion. That's what reminds me of The Shining. It's so the they here's Johnny. They're gonna be here's Stella. You ain't gonna have no baby. With me. <laughs> so they leaving the castle and they going to um no um what is it Scotland to, no, for her birthday? No, I want Scotland. What was it? Uh, Australia. You tell the story. No, yeah, that's right. Uh -uh. No, for real. No, that wasn't. But anyway, so I think <laughs> they, yeah, they going to Scotland for her birthday. Um, so Denton, she know how to treat a girl, honey. So, um, so yeah, Stat. I mean, Statler. Statler yeah. I'm sorry, Statler know how to treat you know girls. So Dempsey is excited. Um, she said that this is the happiest she ever been in a relationship. I was like, ooh. Girl. Yeah, well, somebody you renting a whole well, I'm sorry, rent a room in the castle for you. In a different country, I guess Scotland, England. You know, you know they yeah, same no, country. No, no. We got that. I think no, they, they're a different country. Cause I know they're part of you, the I, UE. I let you handle that. The man. EU, they I'm part of the EU. The uh, you know, I think one of them came out of Brexit. Which one? Hey, we ain't got time for all that. England came out of Brexit or U UK. God, we still got a film of the show. Watch the show and film it. So <laughs> anyway, um. <laughs> So Dempsey was saying that she wants to, you know, be pregnant as they driving and stuff like that. So she was just saying that, you know, she wants to be pregnant and uh, and be a full time mom. I said, Whoop, child, that mean that um, Stanley gonna have to be a full time working all the time to take care of you and the child. Work hard for the money, mm -hmm. uh, uh, so hard for the money, uh, uh, so hard for the money. You can't get it right. So. Adler was saying <laughs> that she don't know if she won't kids. Then she was saying to her confessional that that's not what they talked about at first. You know, she did say that she was open to have children. Now the story didn't change. You know, and I can understand Dempsey's frustration. You tell me one thing, now you get over here, now you switching up. Nah, dog, no, nah, we, uh, we ain't gonna go down that road, man. So, when you tell me when we first start dating, that's what you need to stick with. I understand things happen, things come up, and you gotta change your plan. But don't tell me something. All of a sudden, you, you get me to fall in love with you. Now you change your mind. Yeah. Don't do and, that. A lot of people in relationships do that. They say one thing in the in the beginning, try to pull you in, and then they change up. You know, after y'all done been together for yeah. a while, because That's some it. stuff be non negotiables. If you tell somebody something in the yeah. beginning. That'd be a non-negotiable. No, yeah, that's, that's to me, that's tacky, man. Oh, that's yeah. very immature. You know, you just tell the person what they want to hear to get that person. And then once you got that person all invested in you, now you now nah, I don't want to do it now. No, nah, that's 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 cold blooded. Oh opinion. yeah. So they are um so you know <clears throat> Statler didn't want to bit I mean Dempsey didn't want to talk about it at that time because it was her birthday, she yeah, just wanted to enjoy it. So when they get time. back to the castle. They eating breakfast the next day. They did discuss it. And um, this was talking to Statler about, you know, she wants kids. And Statler was like, well, you know, that's a lot of work. And, you know, children are expensive. And they were talking about, you know, adoption. And um, Statler was, this was like, well, you know, they could adopt. And so Statler was like, well, adoption not easy. Because um, <clears throat> she got adoption trauma. Yeah, that's what I would say. I think that's the reason why she don't want to have kids I because so. of what she's been through. So. And she feel like if she have a you know a child, she, that child's going to go through the same thing. But every child's not going to be that way. Right. Every adoption's not going to be that way. So to root it completely out, to me, is selfish because you you just think about yourself. What about your partner? They want to have a child. And you told her that you was willing to have a child. Now, you no, oh, that's to me, that's selfish, man. Um. Dempsey was saying, well, you know, Dempsey wasn't here for it. She said, well, I'm going to have a child one way or another. Basically, she was saying, with or without you. Yeah, basically, what she was saying. And, and Statler was like, well, you know, if you do, it ain't going to work between us. And Dempsey shut down. She said she she's done eating. She went to her room. The producer asked Dempsey, if that not, and that's non-negotiable by having a, a child? Dempsey said, yeah, it's non-negotiable. She said it's non-negotiable. She said <laughs> If we have a child, it's not going to work. So there's no need, no need for me to c continue that conversation. Yeah. So she, Dempsey, she was pissed off. 
And so she was saying, yeah, that's not what she said in the beginning. Mm -hmm. She should stick to what she said in the beginning. All right. So let's move on to David and Sheila. Y'all know David and Sheila is our number one couple, yeah, they honey. Are, they they are. is the number one on this season of 90 Day. To the point, you start crying. I'm and talking we about. We both did. No, you start crying. You like, I said, oh, we both did. I said, all the tears come down your eyes. We both did. I thought it was a thunder thong. <laughs> It's an inside joke. Oh, but... tell them the inside joke, child. Okay, we are looking at going on, on, on a trip this weekend. I said, "Babe, go look at the weather on the weather channel and see how the you know how the weather looked down south." And she looked at the weather. She said, "Ooh, it's like a chance of thunderstorms." <laughs> I said, "Thunderstorm!" And, and I, I just kept on talking. Yeah, he tried to play it off. I called it. I said, "Thunderstorm!" <laughs> hey, I never been to a thunderstorm before. I've been in a thunderstorm, but not thunderstorm. I said, ooh, I don't want to be no thunderstorm. <laughs> I'm glad that makes you laugh. You know what I'm saying? I do my best to so, make you laugh. So it could be a 50% chance of thunderstorm. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so David and Sheila. <clears throat> so David is happy that Sheila is signing more. Um, Sheila asking David because, you know, they waking up the next day. Let me not. Um, yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. I was. Don't I was do that. Sick. Now listen, I know how to. I, I've been the, a while, yeah, but yeah. I do know how to sign songs. All right, keep but playing around. God gonna strike you uh, with oh, a light yeah. at the thunderstorm. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, so you know they doing the sign language on, um, you know, as far as you know how it was sex the night before and stuff like that. So they happy about where they are. It went it's down, it down in the DM went down. That's how you do it. How you do that? Yeah. Going down. Going down. Yeah. Said, Ooh, them two old people yeah, trying. Right. <laughs> Doing that old. <laughs> what they, they wrist hurting or something? <laughs> so, uh, so, yeah. So, he was satisfied. She was satisfied. Evidently, one, like she said, she had complications last time. But, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Work for them. So, um, so they headed back home to um, sit down and talk to... Um, Sheila's dad and her son about moving to the U.S. because right. you know she laughing. So as they get there, they told the son first of all and the dad that they engaged, so they was happy for him. Daddy was happy, you know. I guess basically you you gave his blessing to uh, to uh, David and Sheila, and the son was happy. Mm -hmm. So she asked the son, "Will you come to America?" So you know the show got to be uh, dramatized because y'all didn't know he yeah. said no the first yeah, time. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, he said no the first time because he didn't want to miss his friends and family in his in his natural in his uh, native country. So so they asked him again this time at the table, and you know so they got to be all dramatic with the scene. And he said, "Yeah, he said, I'm ready to go. I'll go to America because they got good food." Like you said, you're right. I do believe what you said. He did some research on America. Somebody said, yeah. you sure you want to go listen? Yeah, this what yeah, it's like. PlayStation 5. Okay. You got the free food. You get the hamburgers. And you get the pizza. And most people from these countries come over here and eat this food. And get fat. And get fat. Mm. They go from nine day fiance to six, 600 pounds. My life. Life. <laughs> Amen. That's the truth. Hell so, yeah. yeah. They, um, so, yeah, he ch changed his mind because. I feel like somebody was gonna talk to him and say something about him having friends. Mm. You know, um, he get the, you know, uh, all of this stuff. So somebody did the research on there for him. So now um David is about to leave. Mm. And he packing up his stuff. So, you know, I think next week, uh, when we're gonna see the rest of the couples leave and yeah. stuff like that. So, you know, it's winding down, praise the Lord. So David is about to leave and Sheila is really truly taking it home. She she was tore up. Yeah, yeah. Not not her now. She was tore up, and David was tore up. Oh yeah. David's yeah. laid on laid on a sound because you know he really can't make sounds like that. You know, like talk. But he made a sound. I was, man, this dude, he must be hurt for real. He was yeah. really tore up, man, because. He, he started crying, and she started crying, and she started crying, and he started crying. <laughs> so, but it's like you know, I just felt bad. the reason why I got a little emotional because I know what she got to go back to. She has to go back to that house she stayed in with her mom. That's not there no more, and she got to start grieving again because she don't have that distraction of David being there. And that's why I got a little kind of like, oh man, I hate that for her, man. Yeah. 
So um, one thing that David did say, he was like, you know, now he got to go back. He got to have money for a wedding. He got to find a um, pay for an immigration attorney, all this stuff. And he said, it's going to be a lot. I was like, David, didn't you not know that before you went to go over there and get somebody else in another country? It's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot. And man. him working what Two a, jobs. a casino in a grocery store. I don't know what the other one I forgot what it was, but don't sound like he's making that much money. And you know, Sheila had already said that he don't, she don't know if he can, you know, take, it, yeah, yeah, can take care of them financially. But anyway, so let's move on to the last one, which is Cleo and Christian. They got donuts. And we did too today. How about that? We got some pumpkin spice. Pumpkin. You ain't gonna say cream. And they say pumpkin. I thought it was a bit pumpkin. That's pumpkin. Because my husband changed the name to pumpkin. His pumpkin. She works there. <laughs> Every six, she comes. You know, she works there. What six months? Six months out the year. Yeah, she come around by September. So yeah, punk and working at yeah. the Krispy Kreme. Go yeah. ask the punk. Yeah, punk it was. Woo, love some punk. And yeah, punk is expensive. Yeah, punk. You got to pay for the punk. Yeah, you do. She, so, she, she ain't no joke. So because they had donuts last night, she was crazy for some donuts. I said, oh, those donuts look good. Forget, I didn't even know what Cleo was saying, Chad. Forget the girl, them donuts. So anyway. Um, so as they was getting donuts, they were sitting and talking and stuff like that. So basically they was just talking about, she wanted him to know, listen, you finna go back home. Or is you going to be talking to random girls? Of course he is. That's what, that's his personality. He's a social butterfly. And my thing is this. A, a social what? Butterfly. Oh, like that butterfly. That's the butterfly. <laughs> Look at the tapes. Uh, so my thing is if Cleo has that much insecurity in her. Knowing how this guy is and how his personality is, she don't need to be with this guy because all she's gonna do is be in a lot of heartache and pain and you know frustration because she's she's a jealous person now. And Christian, he loves to flirt with the women. He don't call it flirting, but to me, it's flirting. Yeah, it is. You know what I'm saying? So it's gonna be nothing but a headache for Cleo. Yeah. So if I was Cleo, I just like you know what, to save my peace in my mind and my sanity. No, this is like this, this is not going to work. Yeah, it might hurt right now because we got to break up, but it's going to work out for me in the, in the long run. Right. Yeah, because you don't want somebody that you think is disrespect, and he don't think it's disrespect. And if a person is doing something, you're in a relationship, and they doing something that you don't like, then and they not willing to change, and they trying to convince you why they doing it, then that's not the relationship but for in you. In Christian head. He don't think he's doing anything wrong. And that's the problem. Right. That's the problem. So if he don't think he's doing that wrong, because he said he's not going to change who he is. Yeah, who he is for a person. He said that we are exclusive. I only want you. I don't want to be with nobody else and all that stuff or whatever. But if this stuff is affecting her, then it's not going to yeah, work. Yeah, it's not going to work. She, she already had autism, which is going to make it worse for her. So I would just say, Cleo, to keep your sanity, save your and to save your peace. Cut this loose, cause if not, you are gonna be bamming your head against the wall and yep. worrying about what he's doing and where he's at. So it's, it, it's not worth all that, in my opinion. Mm -mm. So on that note, you guys, don't forget we got the what is it? Nine a day, the resort. What is it called? Uh, nine a day last, last resort. resort. Then we got nine a days behind bars. Then we got nine a days in the hunted house. All right. Then we got nine a days on sea. Man, you got nine get days ready. on the Titanic. We'll see you guys you on the next video. Don't forget to go God office. and let God go with you. Deuces. I was for golfer. Hey.